Hello, my name is Kevin Gray from the University of Missouri Kansas City Sports Medicine Fellowship. This is part of the Family Medicine Radiology Educational Series. I will be talking about the radiographic appearance of osteomyelitis. I have no disclosures related to this talk. Our objectives will be to learn a systematic approach for evaluating musculoskeletal x-rays for findings consistent with osteomyelitis, review three common adult findings in acute osteomyelitis, as well as three common adult findings in chronic osteomyelitis. In acute osteomyelitis, three common findings include periosteal reaction, osseous lucency, as well as soft tissue swelling. It is important to note that it is as high as 80% of patients will have normal x-rays within the first two weeks of clinical osteomyelitis. Periosteal reaction can come in a couple of different forms with a lamellated appearance as seen in this onion skin reaction where new bone is being placed over top the existing periosteum, a Cogman triangle where there is an elevation of the periosteum and a more acute angle. We can see osseous lucency as seen in this humerus image and a couple of different areas where there is decreased osseous signal in an area where we would expect to have more calcification. Occasionally, you will also just see findings of soft tissue swelling as seen in the second digit here without any other abnormal radiographic findings. In chronic osteomyelitis, we can see sequestrum, involucrum, cloaca, and cortical disruption. An involucrum is a sheath of new periosteum overlying existing periosteum, so we can see a thickening appearance to the periosteum. Sequestrum is a bony calcification within a lucent lesion, and oftentimes this is seen within the marrow signal. A cloaca is an opening to the involucrum, which exits the bone and may connect directly to the skin via a sinus tract. Finally, as in this image, we can see full cortical disruption where you lose and obliterate the signal of the typical cortex of the bone. In summary, early osteomyelitis may present with normal x-ray imaging in up to 80% of patients. In acute osteomyelitis, you may see periosteal reaction, osseous lucency, and soft tissue swelling. In chronic osteomyelitis, you may see involucrum, sequestrum, cloaca, and finally, bony disruption. Thank you.